Hello and welcome to day two of 10 days of Halloween. If you haven't already, make sure to watch my special announcement video so that you have a chance to win the prize giveaway. All instructions will be left in the description box below. Before we begin, remember to keep an eye out for the secret word of the day. Be sure to watch all 10 videos so that you can crack the secret message. For this fun recipe, you'll need some Oreos, some gummy worms, chocolate cake mix, eggs for your cake mix, some chocolate pudding, Cool Whip, and then we'll also need some water, milk, and oil. I'm gonna start off with the chocolate pudding, and I'm just using the instant pudding mix. This one calls for two cups of cold milk, and all you do is mix your milk and the mix together, and you'll notice it'll thicken almost instantly. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge so that it can continue to get more thicker, and then I will bring it back out when it's time to assemble. Next, I'm gonna make the chocolate cake. I'm using Betty Crocker's chocolate cake mix, and all it does is ask for water, oil, and eggs. Just read the back of the box for specific instructions. I'm gonna combine all the ingredients together, mix them, and then I'll be putting them in a pan to bake. And it doesn't matter what shape pan you're using because we will be breaking it apart once it's done baking. Make sure to grease the bottom of your pan before pouring in your cake batter. While this bakes, let's crush up some Oreo cookies. You can leave the cream in, but I prefer to scrape the cream out since I'm adding all these other sweet elements to this dessert. So I'm just using an offset spatula and removing the cream of each cookie before I crush them. Then find something kind of heavy in your kitchen and start crushing them Oreos. If you have a food processor or a blender, that works just as well. I just didn't want to have to wash any more dishes than I already have to. For the Cool Whip, you want to make sure that it's light and fluffy. If you have it in the freezer, make sure to take it out and thaw it out so that it's nice and smooth. Be transferring the Cool Whip into a piping bag and I'm using a number 12 decorating tip for this. I prefer using the piping bag only because it really helps me neatly layer each layer of the dirt and worms which you will see when I am assembling. Um, you can definitely use a Ziploc bag for this or you can even spoon it on yourself and then gently spread it around. It just gets a little challenging when the crumbs from the cake and the Oreos start to lift. So piping bags or Ziploc bags work really well for assembling this type of dessert. So I did the same with the pudding and now that my cake is ready, I'm just gonna break it up and help it cool off by crumbling the cake and just let it sit on the counter for about 20 minutes until it's completely cooled down. Now that all my ingredients are prepared, it's time to assemble. And I'm using these clear portion cups because they are perfect size to display each layer of this yummy dessert. As you can see, using a piping bag is so much easier than spooning it in, not to mention that it's much more of a clean application as to if you were to spoon it in, it'll most likely hit the sides of the cup and you'll have to clean each time you do a layer so that it'll look nice and uniform. So again, I highly recommend the piping bags. So for my layers, I used pudding, a little bit of cake, some Cool Whip, and then I'm doing pudding again. But this time, before I continue, I'm gonna add a few gummy worms to the edges of the cup. This way, when you are looking at the cup sideways, you can see all the different layers, including the gummy worms. So I like to do that, and then I'll also add them to the very top of the dessert as well. After you're done adding your gummy worms, go ahead and top it off with more cake. Next, you're gonna seal it up with more Cool Whip and pudding. Mm -hmm. 
here is when your cookie crumbs come into play go ahead and sprinkle it on top so that it gives it a real dirt like effect lastly go ahead and throw a couple more worms on top of that This is always a big hit when it comes to children. When they see this, they always want to grab themselves a cup. So again, hopefully this video inspired you guys. Hopefully it gets you a little more excited for the holidays. Halloween is coming up this month and I'm hoping that I am able to share some great ideas for you to make this Halloween special for you and your family. Be sure to come back tomorrow because I'm going to be sharing with you another fun Halloween themed recipe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, like, and share these videos with some of your friends. Have a great day guys.